one issue that new trappers um, may hear about but may not totally understand is, is trap chains and chain length and um, you know there can be a lot of discussion about whether a long chain or a short chain or shock springs or you know heck a new trapper why is it the tra the chain that comes on the trap good enough to use and uh, you know I think a lot of times it is but uh, you know there's some valid arguments to chain length and that discussion and what to use and so I'm going to try to explain some of that to you and explain some of the reasons some of the whys behind uh, you know some of the arguments so yeah you know, I'd say first off with the long chain uh, well as, as a general rule I would say long chain is more appropriate long chains are more appropriate for you when you're using rebar and uh, I prefer personally prefer short chain when you're using a when I'm using a cable stake or a, an earth anchor um, and the reason for that is and I think I think really and truly either would be fine when using an earth anchor um, but it's just to me I just prefer short chains that's what I've always used and so that's my preference and it's less to keep up with you know less cost because you know if you hadn't having to add chain to your to your trap uh, that's just an added cost but the reason you know I say a short chain and this is you know probably a six inch chain um, for when using a short chain with a re with rebar you know the thing about rebar is the only way to get it up would be to pull straight up you know Typically, an, an animal's going to a coyote, a trapped animal's going to have a hard time doing that. But with a short chain, what can happen is that animal doesn't have, you know, that that animal doesn't have a lot of a lot of room to pull any other way. So pulling straight up's the only way that it can really pull. So what can happen is, as that animal pulls up, it pulls the stake up out of the ground. Well, then when he stops pulling, that swivel slides on farther back down the. The, the stake that gives it another anchor point so when that animal pulls again there goes that stake coming right out of the ground even farther he relaxes so it's kind of like a, a washer lock almost you know and so that's that's the issue and that's why I would say if you're using rebar you need to use a longer chain because if if you're using a long chain and this by some people's standards this would be a short chain but if you're using a long chain you know it's not going to be real easy for that animal to pull straight up on that on that stake. You know, if he's caught by the front foot, he may try to stand up, and that could that could very well happen. But you know, for the most part, he's going to try to get away from that, and he's going to be pulling towards the outside as much as he can. So, you know, that's like I say, with rebar, long stake or a long chain would be my recommendation. Now, regardless, especially especially when you're using long chain. You want to make sure that you've got multiple swivels in there, multiple swivel points. That's going to be huge in making sure that that chain doesn't start to bind and uh, potentially cause you to lose that animal. So, like I say, with the regardless, either way, with a cable stake, you know, when it goes into the ground and sets, if that animal is pulling straight up, that cable stake is just as good at pulling straight up as if it's pulling to the side. So. You know, with a cable stake, I would say that's your personal preference. I prefer long or short chains all the way around, but that's up to you. If you're using rebar, I would go with long chain. And then another option, another reason you would use long chains would be uh, with drags. You know, and that's going to be in certain locations. For the majority of trappers, especially, I would not recommend using drags. I would recommend staking your trap where it's at. Um, it's only special circumstances because a drag, you're going to have to track that animal down. Um, and if you don't have good tracking conditions, snow or sand or a dog that can trap it, you know that animal can get get away. You can lose your whole rig. Um, so that a drag is a very special situation, and you need to be very knowledgeable about why you're using that drag if uh, if that's your if that's your option. Another thing is uh, shock springs, and I've used shock springs off and on for a fair bit over the last few years. And uh, you know the thought is that if an animal's pulling pulling that shock spring takes some of the some of the shock out of it some of the and so that may be a, an option if you're using rebar is to use shock springs to kind of lessen some of the pull but um, you know overall if you were just getting into trapping if you were trying to figure out how you need to set your traps up I would go with your stock chain don't worry about adding more chain or taking out more chain or adding a shock spring I mean I think a shock spring is a is not a bad thing to have but um, 
you need to watch them too because after after several years and several weeks they'll st they'll hold up for a while but you know they're going to start to wear and they're going to start to be affected by the elements and by you know animals pulling on them so that's something that after you use a, a shock spring for a, a few years you need to start inspecting them when you inspect your traps before you get ready to set your line make sure that everything's still in good condition because you don't want a, a shock spring malfunction to be why you lose an animal another thing to think about with a long chain versus a short chain, I guess another argument for a short chain would be that that animal's got a long, a long length of chain to get from one side of the set to the other, you know. And so that can really put some stress on your equipment. Whereas with a short chain, you know, you're really, really restricting that animal's movement. So he can, he can go this far and he can go this far. So you're looking at, you know, a foot to two of movement either way. So, um, you know, I would say from a, from that standpoint, you know, as well, Short chains is, is, in my opinion, the, the best bet. Unless there's some specific reason you think you need a long chain, um, I would say short chain. And, and if you're using the MB550, or any of the Minnesota brand traps, you know, the stock chain that comes on them, they got heavy duty swivels. That's, uh, you can't go wrong with that. That would be what I would recommend.